Yo, what's up guys? It's Tavares Smitty here back with another video and today's gonna be another special one because we're making a Elite Collection chat bot using Vector Shift AI, guys. We've already done videos previously with this platform and we're doing some more today. Currently in the Dominican Republic, so it's gonna be pretty lit. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. For first, obviously you wanna go to vectorshift.ai, make sure you sign up and have an account. And pretty much we're gonna create a, a chat bot. So obviously you have to start off in the pipeline. That's pretty much the main uh, foundation. And first, before we do that, let's go ahead and just look around vectorshift.ai and see what the platform is a little bit about. So you guys obviously know what you're working and dealing with. So like, obviously I really, really love, like the main thing I honestly love about this platform is just like how clean their website is. I really feel like a company that can invest highly, you know, resources into their design is very important because even VoiceFlow has invested an entire redesign of their website. It just shows to go how important your image is. So yeah, if you just look at the main page, like you can just see that they're very professional. Another love thing I love is the pricing. Like it's very cheap, it's very affordable, as you can see. It's obviously the annually plan, but look, the monthly plan is literally twenty five dollars a month, and the pro plan is one twenty five. So it is very affordable and very realistic, and I really believe that this platform is honestly a bang for your buck. And even if you don't want to use any money, it's free as well. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started into it. Another main important thing you guys wanna check out is the Discord. You guys go and check out their Discord. I'll leave the link in the description below. They have an active community. So if you guys need help, they'll respond to you. And also check out their documentation. This is where you can learn everything. So you guys obviously wanna go through the documentation. I would recommend going through this. I'll leave the first link in the description below. And yeah, this is gonna be more of just uh, a beginner video helping you guys out again, because we're gonna be doing a lot of tutorial videos in the future with Vector Shift the AI. So let's go ahead and build a lead collection chat bot today. And we're gonna be doing it for a real estate company based in Miami. And let's go ahead and create a new pipeline. And you could do a new pipeline from scratch, but we're gonna go ahead and do go to chatbots and we're gonna create a lead collection chatbot template so we can have the foundation and reverse engineer it live with you guys. Because again, this this is still a new platform for you guys, so I want to reverse engineer and help you guys use it. So first we're gonna go ahead and search up go on Google Maps. Right, this is what I love to do to find businesses based out in anywhere, Miami, doesn't matter. You go to Google Maps and you just search up Miami real estate. So obviously you see I'm in the DR right now, again, at one of our houses. So, okay, let's see what is Edmonton residences, Miami. Okay, this looks nice, I like this. But this is a condominium complex, we want more of an agency. Miami Realty Solution Group, let's go and check out their website because this is what we're gonna be using for the vector store databases to scrape information from their website and create a knowledge base. Okay, the website is definitely a little outdated, but you know, it's still it's still valid. Like, all right, this is good. Like, this is still a valid website. There is apartments being sold for sale. So yeah, I like this website. It's straight to the point. We're gonna use this. It's probably easier to scrape, honestly, too, because everything is raw data. No like GIFs and slideshows and animations and all that BS. It's all obviously raw text data. This is good for like scraping uh, data because it's way more straightforward and linear and it's better for, you know, vector shift to be able to pull data and scrape from. And yeah, so let's go ahead and grab our website and let's go back to our pipeline. And what we want to do first before we create a pipeline is go to, we have to create our knowledge base. So let's go ahead and just go back here. We're going to go ahead and click edit. And we're going to go ahead and click configure pipeline and let's go ahead and we have to add this to our knowledge base. So I'm gonna be right back and go to our knowledge base now. All right guys, I'm back, sorry about that. My computer was lagging a little bit. Again, as you can see, my Wi-Fi is pretty slow considering I'm in the DR, but let's get back to it. We're gonna go to lead collection chatbot template. We're pretty much gonna reverse engineer this together and break it down how it works. So we have our lead collection chatbot right here. Again, this is to help you guys grow as well. And in future videos, I'll be doing way more in-depth, longer tutorials. Obviously, this is still a new platform for you guys, so I still wanna help you guys. So obviously, we have the same input. This is where pretty much our input query goes. So this will be literally the question. This question will be recurried all the way to our OpenAI LLM. Right, so if you see a question, we store into the question variable, which then we have prompted in here as well. So as you can see, we have question variable right down there. And we also have name, etc., which is also another variable as well. So if we go to name, let's go to name right here, data collector. This is where we can add our data collector. So we can add more things as well. So we can add email. So let's do email. 
email of user again this is my computer sorry guys of of user and then we'll do like let's just say to various media at gmail.com dot com and then we'll do another ad field and what we'll do is do phone number pretty much what you're going to do this is going to correlate to our real estate agency which we're going to add back again so let me go ahead and pull it back up right here miami condo solution when you go to configure pipeline we also have to add this as a knowledge base so again chat memory is also another thing it's just literally just conversation memory is pretty self-explanatory again we'll add another number just add some random number example oh excuse me let me add that phone number and then we'll add that there and then i think that's pretty much good so what we'll do is this is obviously going to go here so we're going to add another variable so let me go ahead and add another variable click enter all right I'm gonna go ahead and call this variable phone number. Okay, what you do is just literally put in quote phone number. That should work. Okay, it didn't work. I gotta do it again, guys. Sorry. Just copy this. We'll just go and call this phone number, and then we'll go ahead and drag that to here. And it should grab the phone number, put it there. So phone number, let me just put it right above here. Phone number. Okay, and then we'll add another variable. Just copy this again. We'll call this email. And then we'll call this email. And again, we'll drag that variable again to there and it should grab the email. What we'll do is we'll go up to here and we'll also say, make sure you also ask for the user's email which then we'll put the variable email make sure this is right email name i bet okay this is pretty much gonna grab that variable also make sure you ask for the user's phone number which this is the variable number okay and let's go ahead and just test this out real quick we'll go run pipeline hello i am interested okay well obviously we have to add the information first so let's go ahead and click answer some important questions okay let's see what else make sure everything else is good I think everything else is good, guys. This is perfect. And then all we have to do is create a new knowledge base. MBMCS. Miami, Miami Condo Solution. Advanced Settings. K. Okay. Let me see. All right. Everything is fine. Go ahead and click Confirm. And we're going to click Edit Knowledge Base. Let it load. And then we're going to go to Add Document. We're going to do a URL. Copy their URL. Click Paste. Rescrape URLs definitely do like at least I would do like a daily rescrape. And the reason why you want to do a re daily rescrape is because it's a real estate agency website. And usually these websites are always updating new listings and new information. So you definitely want to do daily rescrape. Click add and let it load. It's going to have its time. It's going to let it learn. So go and refresh a couple times and stuff until it's done. But just let it load, guys. So just give it some time. Be right back guys while that loads okay guys and it's done loading now perfect it took like 10 seconds i just wanted to pause it and now we should be good so let's go ahead and let's go back to our system let's go ahead and say we're gonna go ahead and reprompt this welcome the client to miami condo solutions and ex explain that you are here helping them find a home you will ask the user for their first and last name their email and phone number to be able to stay in touch your goal is to help the user find a home and book a scheduled viewing okay now what we're going to go ahead and do is Literally just click, 
go ahead and click deploy changes. We're gonna just call this MCS pipe line. Okay, and everything should be good. Right, and let's go ahead and just run the pipeline and test it out. Let's do a chat bot, obviously. Hello, tell me about Miami condo solutions. Let's see if it works. And if there's anything we need to change, then we'll just go ahead and do that. What is your name? Okay, so we already asked the first question. That's pretty good. Brandon Tavares. How can I help? I am interested in looking for a home. Let's see what it does. What is your email? Okay, bet. Ah, fuck, I fucked up. Yeah, you see, it reprompts you. That's very good. So that's obviously good. It reprompts you. I'll type in my proper email and see if it works now. Perfect. So it's working. I'll just type in my random e number. This is also very well. Let's see. Wow, this is very good, guys. So as you guys can see, this is working already very... Look at this, guys. Thank you, Brandon Tavares. So it's obviously... Okay, this, bro, this is very impressive. Thank you, Brandon Tavares, for providing all the necessary information. Now we have the contact details. We can proceed with helping you find a home. What specific requirements do you have for your home? I am looking for a two-bedroom condo. Is this possible? And let's see what it says. Again, I'm expecting it... Wow, this is amazing, guys. Wow, look at that. This is this is amazing, bro. Like, I love this platform. Find it. Look how easy this is, guys. Like, again, these are just I'm just doing this video as just a very foundational tutorial video again because this is still a new platform for you guys. And I obviously don't want to be going crazy in depth. The next videos will be more in But this is very impressive, guys. Finding a two-bedroom condo aligns perfectly with what we offer at Miami Condo Solutions. This is very impressive guys so yeah this works and uh yeah um this is already good so what you guys would do after this is you're gonna go ahead and click deploy as chat bot we're gonna go and call it mcs miami condo solutions lead collection slash qualification chat bot qual slash collection bot go to pipeline make sure it's already sees that click save Go to functionality. This is pretty much deploying the bot to make it actual functional. So give it some time, guys. Give it some time. Okay, yeah, I put it too long. We'll just do my new con. There we go. We'll just do that. Click save. Perfect. Go to functionality. What you can do is type in Miami Condo Solutions. And then we obviously have to get the logo as well. So go to styling, you can get the logo right there. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. Say, hello, welcome to NCS. I am here to help you find a home today. And then we'll just put client and assistant. Welcome message, I would say definitely this again. Disclaimer, so welcome, okay. Okay, and then go to styling. We'll just match it to this. So let's just say yellow. Go ahead and put this to yellow. Okay, well, yeah, it's definitely not. Let's just do blue. Blue's actually better. Okay, perfect. Or right, that's purple. Hold on, guys. My computer is literally about to explode. Jesus Christ. All right. Blue, perfect. And what you guys can do is, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this as well. So what you want to do is when you get a, a copy of logo, you want to go ahead and click open image and new tab and literally just copy this and just paste it there and it should work. And boom, it worked right there. Simple as that. And then click save. Go ahead and click export. And this is the chat bot URL where people, this is where you would send them the bot link to talk with. So, hey, I'm looking for a home. And this is where your client, potential client can test out their bot. What is your name? And it's doing the same thing as we expected. And then the same thing for embedding, WhatsApp, API, Slack, etc. And then we have all the conversations being saved. And that's it, guys. This is how you create your first lead qualification slash collection chat bot for a real estate agency. Simple as that, guys. It literally took us like 10 minutes. 
And uh, yeah, check out Vectorshift. Sign up today, guys. I'll leave my link in the description below. This platform is very straightforward and very easy. If you were to do this with voice flow, it would take so much like time just to waste. And I'm just, I don't want to be rude, but honestly, this is very impressive, guys. And I think you guys can make you know your first couple of sales with this platform. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for my next videos. And I love you all so much. Peace out, guys.